Maybe it's just the way that I'm doing <gasps> Oh my gosh, it's way too short. Oh no, I can't. Baby, don't cry. Hola, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Yaritza, and in today's video, we are cutting my hair. Well, I'm cutting my own hair, and I'm kind of scared because I've never done that before. I am deciding to donate my hair, so my organization of choice is Wigs for Kids. So for that organization, you have to cut your hair at least 12 inches, but they recommend, if you can, to cut 14 inches. So I think I'm gonna try to cut 14 inches today. And I am really scared because, like I said, I've never done this before. I'm scared of it like not looking good afterwards and me having to go to an actual hair salon to get my hair fixed. So I have really long hair and if you're new to my channel, my hair is naturally curly. So let's just see what my hair looked like before and admire it for a second before it's all gone. <laughs> So if you don't have curly hair, you might not know how much work curly hair is, and I'm just tired of detangling my hair, of washing my hair. I am really low maintenance when it comes to my hair. So I usually let it grow out long, and then every three to four years, I do a big shop anyway, but I've never done it myself. The last time I cut my hair was for my wedding, so that was 2018, and then I did get a trim like the following year just to even out my hair because I had cut it like into like a long bob, and so it was shorter in the back, longer the front and I went to get it evened out and now it's completely really long. Here's what it looked like after I detangled my hair and as you can see it's really long and it takes me usually about an hour to detangle so we're gonna cut my hair. So there's a few organizations that you can donate your hair to. I chose Wigs for Kids and on their website they have like the instructions on how to cut your own hair if that's the route that you're going to. They also have hair salons that they recommend where they have specialists that can cut your hair for a donation, but I'm just gonna do it on my own and wish me luck. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna like section off my hair into six sections so that it's better to cut and then we'll see what that looks like after. Okay, so I also wanted to say that I washed my hair and didn't put any product because your hair has to be one, it has to be clean and two, it cannot have any product on your hair in order to donate it. Just wanted to clarify that. Okay, so I went ahead and I split my hair from here to here to so have two front ponytails and then in the back, instead of just having Having two ponytails I split it into four so I just did that and so that I have three on this side and three on that side so there's a total of six ponytails so now is the time to cut and measure and I'm getting a little nervous but I think I'm going to ask for my assistant to come help me <laughs> my assistant which is my husband to come help me so hold on you're not even your face is not even gonna be on camera <laughs> So this is my giant husband. Um, <laughs> Hi, hubby. And I'm gonna give him the scissors. I need you to get a measuring tape first. Uh, see, the reason why I don't wanna cut it because if I, like I have to, I, I can't see and I don't wanna make a mistake. And you have to cut it below like the ponytail line. Wait, why would you cut up below the ponytail? I mean, I mean, b above the ponytail. Oh, it's like it's not gonna stay in. <laughs> above time. the ponytail. So I feel like when you cut up, if you measure and then you cut above the ponytail, you already give them then like extra length. So okay, so my husband's actually has to <laughs> retie all my ponytails. I thought I was gonna be able to do this by myself, but honestly, I'm glad that I have him around. That's right. <laughs> so this one's done. He measured it, and then we're moving on to this one. Yeah, split ends kind of hit 16. Okay. So actually, my hair is going to be a lot longer than what I thought it was. I thought I was going to end up cutting my hair a lot shorter, but we're measuring almost 16 inches with split ends, and my hair is still going to be like a good length, so I'm not worried anymore. But one of the reasons I don't like going to hair salons is because they're really expensive, and when they see you walk in there with a whole bunch of hair, they upcharge. So as long as I can go in there with short hair already just to like get it fixed, then like a little trim, then I'm not worried about it. What's, what what concerns you? The length. What about like, it? They're just not the same. My husband thinks that if he messes up or if I don't like my hair, that I'm gonna blame him. And that's, that's why the reason why she picked an assistant. <laughs> and then that's why I asked him to be my assistant, but that's not true. I think I'm actually happy that he's here because I was planning on doing it all by myself and I feel like I probably would have messed up if I did it all by myself. Hold the hair, please. I just realized this turned into I cut my own hair too. My husband cuts my hair. <laughs> I guess that'd be a better title. 
I did cut your hair for the pandemic. Mm -hmm. Not all of it, but I helped. So now you're repaying the favor. Perfect. Mm -hmm. All right, we're ready to start the cutting process. I am nervous, as you can see. I have all my ponytails, six ponytails total. All right, ready as I'll ever be. It's time to cut. Okay, should I do in the back first or the front first? <sighs> Honestly, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm so scared. You've already committed. I know I committed. Okay, do the back first because the back seems like it's longest. Okay, <sighs> let's do this. I'm ready. ready. I am relaxed as can be. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> I'm waiting. I'm ready. Oh my gosh. My heart's beating fast. I can feel the pressure of the scissors. Oh my gosh, he's doing it. He's cutting. Oh my gosh. I can hear it. Oh my gosh. Cause it's taking any longer. Ah. Ah. I swear this is like taking forever and you're only cutting Boom. one little one. Let me see. Oh we my gosh. We have the first one. Oh my gosh. Look at this. What, what, what kind of cut is this? I'm working with regular. What do you want? <laughs> I'm working with what I got. Oh my gosh. Okay. First little ponytail done. All right. Let's go to the second one before I change my mind. <laughs> uh, there's no going back. <laughs> there's no going back. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> I swear it feels like forever for him to cut one little ponytail. This is a better cut. Oh my gosh, so much hair. How are you feeling? I feel okay so far. I mean, I'm nervous, but I'm just want to see the finished product. I right, that sound it makes when you're cutting. It's so weird. Three ponytails down, halfway. Actually, looks good. I'm actually on point. <laughs> okay. Okay, 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 okay. 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 <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think it's gonna be way too short on the front. No, it's not. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Maybe it's just the way that I'm cutting. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's way too short. Oh my gosh. I am oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I can't. Baby, don't cry. Baby, don't cry. What? Wait, oh my gosh. No, I was not. I was thinking when we measured it that it was gonna be like longer. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm not crying. I'm not crying. We have to finish. <laughs> I'm not crying. <laughs> what you mean you're not crying? Of course you're crying. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Okay, I mean, I mean, there's nothing we can do. We have to get we have to continue. I'm so sorry, baby. <laughs> I mean, this is... <sighs> At least it's going for a good cause. <laughs> oh my gosh. Do you feel bad? <laughs> of course I feel bad. <laughs> I mean, the way that it falls, you can't really tell. I mean... Okay. Last one. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. I'm gonna pay for your hair salon visit. Okay. <laughs> Just, this is perfect reason to say, you know what, my husband cut my hair. I thought it was a great idea. Oh my gosh. Wait, wait, wait. Did you cut it this way or this way? I cut it this way towards you. Oh, okay. Oh my God. I'm not, I'm scared to go to the hair salon because then to fix it, then they'll, they'll chop more like length off of it. So I might wait. I don't know. We'll see how it looks like when it's curly. Anyway, continue. The last one. Holy crap, baby. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Why does hair make us so emotional? Right, Same. Here we go, here we okay, go. last one. And it's done. It's done. Look at all this hair. Like, whoa. Oh my god. This is not even at all. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is horrible. At least it's even to some sort. It's not even at all. Look at my ponytail. Look at this. This is all we cut off. It's very, very uneven. 
But you know what? I already shed a couple of tears. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. It's fine for a good cause. I wanted to chop it off. I was really tired of my hair. Thank you, my love. You're welcome. <laughs> She's gonna kill me when this turns off. <laughs> I wouldn't have been able to do it without you. <laughs> so sorry. So I'm gonna curl it and then see what it looks like curly because I will not be wearing my hair like straight. I normally wear my hair curly and when it's straight, I think you can see the unevenness of the hair a lot more. So we'll see what it looks like when it's curly. But I'm scared because then it's gonna be shorter. Oh my gosh, I remember when I was like, <sighs> I was still living at home. At some point, my sister cut my hair and she cut it way too short and I locked myself in the closet and I cried. <laughs> Cause I literally had an afro. <laughs> Um, that's how short it was. I'll insert a picture if I can find one. And I I think I just got flashback to that moment because of how short it is without it being like professionally styled. So I'll be back when I wash my hair. Okay, so I actually didn't wash my hair again. My hair is kind of dry, so I don't want to wash it like two days in a row, but I styled it a little bit with like a curling iron and it doesn't look bad at all. I think this haircut makes me look a little older. My hair's really thick right now, but you know, it's cute. It's still like a little uneven, I think, but it's not bad. I can live with this. I can live with this for a few months, maybe a year until I go get a haircut. I still have to see how it looks when it's curly, but you'll probably see me back in my natural curls soon enough. For right now, this is the video. If you have any questions about how to donate your hair, leave them below and I will link the website that I'm using to donate my hair in the description description below and I hope they enjoy this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel and I will see you in another video. Bye!